and uh, we're still on News Roundup, Schengen Story Media. Now, talking on Germany with our uh, the shared man in Germany, we are going to another part of Germany. Uh, there's a uh, part of Germany called Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf during the week uh, celebrated its 75th uh, anniversary as a, a region, a, a county. Now, uh, Dusseldorf, uh, um, researchers has it that Dusseldorf is the, one of the richest region in Western Europe. Uh, there's a part in Dusseldorf called North Rhine, North Rhine, Western Fia, uh, Western here. And it's um, uh, where you have most uh, manufacturing companies and uh, most uh, uh, industries in Germany. So what happened was the celebration of the 75th anniversary attracted uh, Ghana president, Ghana, Af the African Ghana president, President Akufado uh, came to that event, the 75th anniversary, and uh, he also came to have some business dealings with uh, uh, the uh, mayor, the governor of Düsseldorf. And uh, but it, it turned out ugly. Uh, during the meeting, they had a break in session, and uh, the Ghana president, with his entourage and the people he came with, went on a lunch break, kind of. And uh, there were the Ghanaians in Düsseldorf waiting in the queue. Uh, in, to the entrance of the, the place they were going to, and there was that booing, booing and uh, yelling and uh, um, shout from the crowd, the Ghanaians that were there, that Kufado, go fix our country. Go and fix our country. So I don't know if you guys saw that it's, um, it went down last week, and um, it's a Ghana, Ghana, Ghana President, Ghana, Ghana President. Hey, shut my devil. Ghana President. Hey, Nana! Nana, Nana, this is the country! This is the country! Nana, this is the country! We love you! Nana, 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 fix the country! Nana, we beg you, fix the country! Nana, we beg you, fix the country! Nana, fix the country! We beg you, fix the country! Fix the country, so we can come back home! Begging for a ride for the bus. This is the country, so we can come back home. Oh, this is the country. Yeah, what you say? Yeah. Please, please, please. This is the country, so we can come back home. We want to come back home. Oh, we want to come back home. This is the country. We have our own rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not here for life. We have gold. We have oil. Everything. We are free. We want to come back home. This is the country, so we can come back home. This is the country, so we can come back home. Africa with mineral resources without nothing, we can't do anything. Please, no, no. Fix the country. We are here to borrow fucking money. Fix the country. You say you bring these girls here. You see girls, you bring them here for nothing. Fix the country so we can come home. So you 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 you've all seen it. It went viral last week, and um, it, it's funny. Um, actually. It, uh, the pre Ghana president, Nana Akufado, was also there to strike a business deal with Volkswagen. We all know the Volks companies in Germany, and uh, it, it's also one of the reasons he was there. Uh, but but the, man was, uh, the man has done quite some things for the country, but it, not as much as the expectation. Well, uh, Truma, what do you say with this, this, um, this situation? <laughs> It's, it's well, uh, yeah, you can see I'm smiling. Why am I smiling? If we can go back to uh, one of our other, some of our articles uh, in Schengen Story Media that is titled Homeward Bound, you can see that uh, uh, the, the, the writer was actually telling people 
how to go home and do something great. You come to Europe, you leave your country to go and acquire one or two knowledge. And then you go back home and impact that onto other people. But when you come here to get at something, you find out the, the system has been well structured that you get yourself stuck one way or the other. And then why do we stay back? Because back home, if you go home, you want to go and start uh, 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 you want to go and start a bakery business. Now let's say that because we start from the the normal thing people really really want is food. The basic thing is food. You want to go and start a bakery business or uh, uh, ice cream business. The first problem you will face is electricity. You don't have electricity. The second one you will you will face is a uh, road. How can you you know uh, distribute your your products to people. We were taught in the elementary part of it uh, in economics that uh, when you want to set up an industry, first of all, you check near the next to raw materials and then a distribution and then a marketing. But here um, in Africa, we have a very serious problem. We don't get good roads. You see somebody that will be giving money to build roads. He will prefer to pocket that money and use the money to buy uh, you know, a personal something. And we don't want that to be shared by everybody, which makes us really, really see things that uh, we are we are wasting. Every day we keep complaining that the, the Western world is controlling us, the Western world don't value us, the Western world don't want this. But how do we value ourselves? What do we do to help ourselves go on? Our political people, political leaders, our, our, our government, what are they putting in place? It is just when you see a governor goes to build a road, people will come out and start clapping for him. Why are you clapping for him? That is his right. That's the work he, has, he was elected to come and do. And then when you are building a road, you don't even build a road that will last. You build a road that will last for two, three days. After, you know, you come back to bring in the whole thing. The governor, the, the, uh, the, the Ghanaian president came to, to cry, you know, to, to negotiate for a business to bring... Volkswagen back to them, just the same way uh, uh, other countries are doing. Now, he wants to see how he can improve what production and employment in his country. But the people are crying because they want more. They need more. If what he is doing is not good, people will continue to cry higher and more. But they, they, are, they are saying that he should fix their country. And he is trying, I must say, if what he's doing in Ghana is also uh, uh, the, uh, the tenth way they are doing it in Nigeria, we wouldn't be complaining. I've been to Ghana. I can see the good roads they have. The electricity is uh, uninterrupted. They have good electricity. Now, Nigeria, we are losing a lot of industries. You know, they are moving Nigeria to Ghana. Why? And Ghana is also becoming the hope of Africa. When we have a giant of a giant of Africa like Nigeria there, and we cannot even get at what we are crying about. Now, the people, the, 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 the people were they were they were so polite and honest. They didn't yes. did attack him. They showed exactly. love. We, we we saw what happened in France when the man tried to show some love and he slapped the. French, uh, 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 French Prime Minister, and uh, I was telling some friends also the day this, ha this happened that if it, it were probably Nigerians that got this close to the president, they would they would give him knuckle, they would hit him. Uh, sure. I remember what happened if, in Germany. Uh, God in Azu, if, if I may, if, in, in Germany, when uh, one of our uh, senators uh, came, uh, when, 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 when the Kuremado visited. Uh, Exactly. Uh, Mado visited uh, a, a region. A, a region a, 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 I think uh, the Ghanaians are a bit more civilized than most of us yes. from the Nigeria. Yes. And uh, yes. I, I will want to say that uh, obviously from the video clip I saw, uh, we, we just watched now, um, the, the, the most um, uh, interesting thing here I had is that uh, people are asking like Oliver Twist. They want more. Uh, which means the president is doing something, but they need him to do more for their for the good of the Ghanaian people. I would say, obviously, that uh, President Akufo Addo uh, is one of the emerging 
uh, uh, capacity building president in the whole of Africa today. He is one of the only African president that is attracting foreign investment in the physical terms of it. People not just not just announcing it as a media hype, but really making it happen uh, at the end of it. Him and the, the president of Rwanda, uh, 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 Kigama, they are the key presidents in Nigeria, to, in Africa today, in Africa. that are, are attracting uh, foreign investors that will bring about uh, foreign investment, bring about uh, 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 infrastructure, bring about employment in their country. You could, most of us remember how Twitter left uh, 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 relocating their, their regional headquarters in Africa from Nigeria to Ghana. We can see uh, other big companies also that are doing the same, relocating their regional headquarters to Accra. And the, if it's going, we, we, all, we all grew up to know about Foswajin in Nigeria, but now we don't know anything about it anymore. And if he has gone to the Rhine region in Germany to attract Foswajin to come to Ghana and, re, and re, reinvest in Africa by locating their, their industrial plant or assembly plant in, in Ghana, that is, an, that is an, a, a, a very attractive uh, uh, pursuance. And I feel that uh, obviously he is doing very well. I remember he, that he, he ran two uh, concurrent elections. Uh, uh, against John Mahama, and uh, he he won the rerun of that election, and uh, John Mahama, in good faith, conceded and uh, and uh, allowed for a peaceful transition of government in Ghana, and uh, he has been able to manage the COVID situation. Ghana is only one of the countries in Africa that is paying their citizens for COVID uh, uh, palliatives directly, physically, happening life, not unlike some African countries where where it's not really showing life. He has been able to manage the economy properly. And uh, obviously, we are hoping to have him in the UK very soon because uh, uh, an organization here in the UK is looking forward uh, to honor him uh, in the UK in the next few weeks uh, 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 for his good work in Africa and in Ghana as a whole. Uh, and uh, I believe that uh, if people ask for the right thing, it is good that the president hear those right ones and good ones and work on it and make it happen the Ghanaians are looking for for a better place to go back to just like any other african diaspora and immigrants around the world looking for their president to keep to make their country conducive and and uh, friendly enough to attract their diasporans back home uh, to also do what we call now the diaspora direct investment we all know fdi but many people don't know the ddi that is what yeah. is coming up now. That is called the DDI, Diaspora Direct Investment. So there are a lot of us who have enough money, unlike the companies and foreigners that also have that kind of money. But many of us as diasporans are, are afraid to take our money back to Africa or to our various countries because we are not, we, are, we, we seem to know more of our country than the foreigners. But the foreigners are willing to take the risk, even though they don't know nothing about your country or they are not willing to, to take to believe in what the country is all about but they are willing to take the business risk the sort business is about risk they're okay. willing to take the risk to invest and Thank hope you. to make the money so we Thank all in the diaspora are also hoping that one day we will develop the diaspora direct in investment methodology where yeah. whatever be the risk in africa we we take it with a pinch of salt and invest our money for the greater good of the people and our thank people you. and our brothers and sisters in Africa and all look forward for the benefit of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.